peace forever and always. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra, and this is the Realities Temple on Earth. Um, please excuse the lighting of this video because it is still uh, bad weather here in this area, stormy, lightning and rain. So with that said and out of the way, uh, give you guys a weather report where, uh, where I stay. Uh, with that being uh, told, let us get into the subject of this video, which is very quick when we have a lot to, to talk about. This video is a message to black women or the black female. Actually, it could be for any woman any woman not necessarily black woman but because my audience is primarily black females then I would uh, direct this message towards them black woman women you are an amazing creation of this universe there is no doubt about that and it is sad when men mistreat you so bad because they really don't know who or whom they are uh, messing with. I want to warn you about this thing feeding your children with a bottle made of plastic and these chemicals they call Similac, these uh, infamil, these formulas. Your child was not designed to drink this manufactured poison and that's what it is because it's not natural for your baby. In this world you, woman, black woman, and women in general, you have been made to believe, and in this, in this society, you have been made to feel as though your breasts are just objects of something for men to play with, and something nasty and vile not to be seen in public because of those things. Your breasts, woman, and any breast from any female mammal was designed in order to give nutrition to a baby. No if, ands, or buts about it. That's what your breasts are for. But you have been made to believe and feel as though that's vile. You are uncomfortable with doing something that's natural. As feeding your child on your breast. That's who or whom your breasts were made for. Your baby, your child. When you place that child on your breast, not only are you giving that child critical nourishment, but you're bringing a closeness, a human emotion, a feeling to your baby, a connection. When you place your child on a bottle made out of plastic, an infamil, similar, then you're taking away or depriving the child of that critical in its beginnings of life human contact. So since we were and have been raised on plastic bottles and fake milk, is it no surprise that we are fake? And we are cold and heartless like that plastic bottle. We have no compassion. We have no emotions. In fact, many of us hate our mothers. And we hate women. How is this possible? This is possible because we were raised on a plastic bottle. 
There is no spiritual or mental connection to another human being. And if it's not the bottle, we give our children cow's milk. Cow's milk was designed and made for a baby cow. You born a child of infant human being to give a cow's milk to an infant human being is in the critical stages of development causing harm to a new life. But at the same time, you have no problems taking your breath and allowing a man or perhaps a woman with 32 teeth in their mouth. And this is what I hear all the time. I don't want my baby to uh, breastfeed because the baby, when the teeth come, they uh, bite my breast. But you don't mind this person with 32 teeth in his mouth to bite your breast. Matter of fact, you said, oh, it feels good. When it hurt like that, you are sad because you have no emotional co connection because chances are you are also raised on cow's milk, infant milk, similar, and that cold, heartless plastic bottle. This is so sad, so why is it a shock that we don't see that the, why the human being is such a bad condition? That we find ourselves in. The baby has to go through so many problems. Even in its beginning. Not to talk about drinking old cold baby bottle. Oh, well we warm it up. Uh, duh. Okay warm the Similac up. But what about the sperm? The baby starts off with bad sperm. Because many of these fathers are drunkards. They're dope fiends. They don't take care of themselves. So you got bad sperm to begin with. Then these mothers, they are also dope fiends. They don't take care of themselves. They are alcoholics. So you got drunk eggs and you got drunk sperm and they come together. Then the baby drinks uh, Similac from a plastic bottle. And you wonder why the world is in the condition that it is in today. Because the human being in its very beginning, in its very origins, when it was nothing to speak of, it came from bad building material. If we took the sperm and the uh, eggs or the ovum in which uh, many of us have been formed from, and we compare that to wood and use that wood to build a house, we would, we would be a bad house to live in. It would be falling apart. Weak wood. You don't just use any kind of wood to build a house. You use the strongest, the toughest, in order to build a house that's going to stand, be able to bear with the weather, and stand for years and years and years. This is why the human family is crumbling and has crumbled because it was crumbling from its very beginning. Bad sperm, bad eggs. Now you have human beings walking the planet, heartless. They care about animals. You know why? Because they was raised on animal milk. They care more about animals than they do human beings because they were raised on animal milk. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you, woman? Then, you don't know woman, but in your milk, you carry strength that you can give to that baby. Antibodies. Go look it up. All kinds of antibodies and enzymes in your milk. That's good for your baby. To help your baby be strong. To help your baby think because in the beginnings of development is the brain. But if the brain has been made out of bad and poor materials. Chemicals. Manufactured similar Sucking on a bottle, the residue off of oil, petroleum products. What you think that's going to do to the poor baby's brain? Make us unable to think. And many of us, and it's very clear here on YouTube, that's the main problem. I am so fortunate myself. I was raised on the breast. I'm a breastfed baby. Maybe that's the reason why I have this thing about thinking for myself. Because... 
the material, even though my father wasn't the greatest or my mother wasn't the greatest, but maybe because of the material that I was given at an early age, helped form my brain so it can operate a little bit better. Some of you said, I don't see that. I don't see your brain working so hard. Of course you wouldn't see it. Because you're caught up in something that's unnatural. Take that old man off your breast, women, and put your baby back on. This is your brother Talib Ibn Ra. This was, and keep listening to, The Realities Temple on Earth. Peace.